All right, checking in, back again. That's right. With another episode of Mitch and Mike on the mic. I've been noticing that I've been talking to a lot of people. Yeah. And they reference this, and they have no idea what the hell the name is. No way, really. That we gotta get them. We gotta get someone. Mitch to and Mike on the mic. Mitch and Mike on the mic. They're like Mitch and Mike in the in the radio show. That that was the, the whole pot, point the, of coming the, up in, with a name like that, so people would know it. Yeah, it ties Mitch in. And Mike it on the kinda, mic. It rhymes. It's perfect. And then I was having somebody, one of the girls I work with, I told her about it. I'm like, you know, I do a podcast, right? She's like. No, you never told me about that before. I'm like, all right, type, you know, go to, if you go to Google, you know, because it's, either, if you search Mitch and Mike on the mic, they'll come up now. There's a couple of them, though, aren't there? Well, there's a couple of Mitch and, Mitch, like, Mitch and Mike's that come up, but. Okay. But it took, it took a little bit before the Googles would pick it up. Would pick it up but now right, it up. we got to post a but few so of them she, first. So, of course, she types it in, Mitch and Mike on the mic, and the second part, Mike, she spelled M-I-K-E again. So it's Mitch and Mike, M-I-K-E. On the M I K E. Oh like, my! Come on! Like, you're not pulling it up because you got to spell Mike the right way. She's yes. like, I did. I spelled it right. Like, no, you didn't. <laughs> not like the, you've spelled it the name Mike, but not the thing Mike. Yeah. I am. I am not sitting on top of another person named Mike. No, you only sit on top of, of the of the speaker box. I was, um, I was I was wondering where you were gonna go with that one. You always speaker wonder, box. Huh? You always wonder where I'm gonna go with my little things. Uh, yeah. Well, you could, that one could have been literally anything. Could have went there. I thought you. I thought you were gonna go dirty. Yeah. Well, before we get into our topics, I'd also like to thank you for picking up the slack and when doing, you were passed out last time and doing on the, the, floor. the doing the interview with Daryl. Yeah. Daryl, I was able to I was able to take a listen to the show, and I gotta say, Daryl, he's an interesting young man. Th- that's one way of putting it. Do you think? Yeah. Do you think he might? No. You think he might invite no. Daryl back on the show? Oh, I thought you said if he was ever going to make it, on, like as a well, country singer. No. I don't know if he'll ever make it. No. Uh, I'm calling it right now. That's not. Uh, that's not happening. If by the sounds of Daryl, even though he sounded like a guy with a lot of heart and a lot of gusto, I don't know if he's got the chops. Yeah, he had the enthusiasm. He didn't have any songs. No skills though. So and that's the, you kind of need skills. A little I bit. don't know if. I'm not saying you need much because there's a lot of untalented people out there that make it big, but it's a, it's you possi- need some. It's possible with his lineup of instruments that he could be really he could have been really big back in the wild wild west days. I just think everything's gotten it's possible, too, gotten too advanced. Although, if you go hipster style, he, maybe he'll be back in. Fucking hipsters, fucking hipsters. So, anyways, I wanted to thank you for that. Yeah. The next time when he's around, hopefully, I'll be able to make it and be able to chat the young lad up. Possibly, I very... can't believe that was the last podcast we've done. It's been a while. In fact, we had to uh, we had to change it up this week Barely with our uh, with our location. Yeah, where are we right now? We are in a little town called Henderson Harbor. Nobody knows where this is. Uh, we're it's up where north. They, it's where they filmed Harry and the Hendersons. Oh, that makes sense. Yep, yep. It's John Lithgow. Hmm. Uh, but yeah, no, we're we're up in Henderson Harbor. This is where uh, my restaurant is. It's uh Oh you own it. Yes. No. Very nice. No, just the chef here. Curate I, I, owner. The menu's mine. But uh we're we're probably about ten minutes out of Sackett's Harbor. That's a little more well known. Probably half hour out of Watertown, south south of Watertown. So we're still pretty far up north though. It's fucking beautiful up here. It is pretty nice. We picked a good day. We Except picked a good day yesterday for Yesterday I was it. driving up. It was raining. Oh my awful. god, we needed that so rain bad. so bad though. It it's been so humid here, it's been ridiculous. Like it today yeah. feels really good because of, it finally rained. The sort of humidity that you'll just you fucking balls just stick to the side of your leg. Oh my god, I can handle heat. I d- don't do humidity. It, it's terrible. You got to go through like a whole thing of gold bond in one day. <laughs> the sort of humidity that you. Oh, I, was, I mean, I, my sweat almost got down to the point where I could have done wet t-shirt contest, but it didn't quite reach the nipples. Bring it out and fill up a shot glass of sweat. Oh, I could have. Take easily. a shot of it. A couple of them. A salty, a salty shot. Delicious. Oh, my God. That's, that sounds good. You could probably put that on the menu. Mm. Put, put a little cream in there. Call it semen. I'm going to edit that part out. <laughs> That's a line I'm supposed to come up with, not oh, you. Oh, come on. You're the serious one who's supposed to keep us on track. I, I'm allowed to say those. Come but on. Speaking of something, but speaking of something off track, that is something that I came up with. Okay. And I just thought about this. Is Right now, you're wearing a T-shirt. What color is it? It's orange. It is the classic. It's classic Syracuse orange. Now shirt. you don't see it up here in, in uh, not in Henderson Harbor in uh, Harry and the Henderson Harbor Bay, but you do see it all the time in Syracuse, especially at the dome for for. Well, I guess it started off in basketball events, but then people oh, yeah. obviously wear it for football <coughs> too. 
I actually, are you coughing <coughs> over there? Are you sick? <coughs> you all right? Oh, over there? I took a swig and went down the wrong pipe a little bit. Oh, I took a swig oh. and went down the wrong pipe. And so it's. I the, think it started with football, actually. Did it really? I want to. I remember it for football first. Eh, maybe, anyway, yeah. that's it, and so the line, wrong. the phrasing says, "Real men wear, wear orange. orange." Now I got to thinking about this. It yeah. Now, the Syracuse University athletic programs is known as the Orange. It used to be known as the Orange Men. Right, because apparently that's wrong. That's because... it was. The Native Americans felt yeah. slighted and or people who felt bad on their behalf, which I think it yes, might be more it, the case. it is a term for Indians or Native Americans. Orange men. So I'm looking at your T-shirt, and I have to wonder. If kind of puts so- it in a different perspective. Yeah, I kind of wonder if this is if they came out with a slogan for this T-shirt and did this on purpose to be subliminally mean, because it sounds to me like real men wear orange. It sounds like you're killing Native Americans in a Wearing weird cannibalistic ritual skin them and wear them and now it's real men wear orange via circus university you know what i'd almost rather have that connotation towards it than that fucking mascot that they have now you don't like the lovable i the orange? hate Otto the orange i've always hated that mascot there was a time when we tried to change the mascot so it would be like a wolf or something a wolf? and people shot it down immediately yeah well, wolf because, well, the, well the wolf wolf going back to like the native american thing so it was the before Syracuse they it before wolves? they changed no it been before they changed the name from Orange Men to Orange. Oh. So like you know the the wolf would it, it would I I I think it was wolf but the whole point was you know let's get rid of the orange and get something a little closer to what you know a little more a little means. more aggressive. Yeah, but oh god, it your mascot is supposed to not necessarily strike fear, but you know be imposing and just you know be not a fucking fruit. That is just, uh, and it's not even like we live in Florida or, or California where they we make right, oranges. Exactly. You know what's cool? The Florida State Seminoles. Oh, I need to get that out. Excuse me. That was some fish. That was weird. Um, the Florida State Seminoles, when they have their home games, they yeah. have a guy come out. Yep. Riding a horse, and he has a flaming spear, and he chucks it into the opponent's head zone. Oh my now god! That's awesome, right? Well, and now and we have a fucking orange. That's true. Although I would say that would be tough for us, seeing as he'd have to drive the spear through astroturf and cement. But mm. I get it. it. It would stick in there in the astroturf. Be, it could be like a jart. He could throw a jart. Yeah, well, that's essentially what it was. Yeah. Kind of a styro- javelin or something. A styrofoam to javelin. No, yeah, you can stick it in there. Or you just stick it right through out of the mascot. That would work too. I hate that. So yeah, so mascot. you're pretty much wearing a T-shirt that symbolizes cannibalistic rituals of killing in Native Americans, skinning them and wearing them, and saying that this is how real men act. Hooray! You misogynistic son of a bitch. That's me. Taking us back, I don't wear those T-shirts because I don't agree with that sentiment, and I've never happened to buy one. They don't call me Mean Mike for nothing. I just thought they called you Sweaty Mike the Cook, who fucking makes fake semen shots. Nope, I don't think... Well, once I was called that. Once you did well, it? Well, no, twice. What's next on the list, Mike? Oh, we were going to go into the NBA. Oh, the my sports God. Sports in general. There, well, before we get into the NBA, let, let's let's touch around the other sports because our NBA will lead into you know our, our other topics that we want to talk about. I don't remember what those are. Well, we'll, we'll get to that. Oh. Let's, let's start with a little football. Football? Yeah, New York football giants. Football. American football or... English football. New York football giants. New American York football. Football giants. Gridiron. There are OTAs going on. I noticed that there's no grids in the gridiron, nor is there any iron. The football field is a grid. No, nah, it's, it's a bunch of like vertical lines if you're looking at it from the point of the TV. There needs to be vertical and horizontal lines to the, make it Yeah, grid. it all depends on your perspective, but the field is there's a grid. There's no grid. And I don't know if you know this. The football is not actually made out of pigskin. Not anymore. Really? They used to do that? Mm-hmm. Where, where do you think the name comes from? I got to tell you, man, the heritage of athletics. Dude, it's leather. Like, what do you think leather is made out of? Cows? Yeah. So with cows and pigs, what? That's a different animal altogether. Get the pigs. So you're okay with killing cows but not okay with killing pigs? So you, you don't eat pork but you eat beef? I'm fine with it both. I'm just saying that they need to make sure the terminology is up kept with the change in the usage of the products. I'm pretty sure they actually did, and when the first footballs were made, they used pig skin. Oh, okay. 
You know, it's funny. We were actually I was having this conversation with with someone the other day about about that. They don't they don't eat pork because they had like a pig growing up and it was kind of like a pet because pigs are really smart and they can make really good. They pets. wallow in their own shit. They no, they do that to cool themselves down. They're they're really smart. They've been if they were to, like, smart, they'd invent fucking shit. air conditioners or at least learn how to plug a fan in. They're actually f- pretty clean. Sure they are. Now they are. The Jews don't eat them. I don't want to. Well, back in the day, they, they, you know, back then they were. It's because they were cl- 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 hoofed and cloven animals. They also that was didn't know how to cook the shit properly. That was part of the bibble. The bibble? Yeah. Well, yeah, that, the whole point behind, you know, not eating the pork was it was probably disease ridden at the time. Oh, sure. It was. So, you know, I mean, that's. That's why they did that. But Pig the point I was going shit. back to make is, yeah, like you, you, you'll still eat like cows and chickens. They're dumb as shit. Like sheep, you can't leave them out in the rain because they will literally look up with their mouth agape, and yeah. they will drown themselves. Where is this? Anywhere. That's what? sheep. A sheep? Sheep will do that. What? Like they're that dumb. They'll look up and where are they? Just like you have to take them indoors when it rains because otherwise they'll just kind of like look up. Their mouth will be open, and they'll, like, drown themselves. I don't believe it. I'm telling you. How can, how can an animal be that They're stupid? They're that dumb. Isn't that, like... So, basically, we've intervened in the evolutionary process of sheep because they should be fucking killed off by now, but we use them for fucking... Either that or we transform them, them into, use, to, into an animal that that's stupid. But the point is, you know, no, you, no, you don't, just, you don't feel kept, bad about eating sheep alive. and cows and chickens because they're dumb as shit. That's why we don't eat dolphins. It's just so smart. Right. It's and that's that, why this person had a problem with eating a pig. They had, like, a pet growing up, essentially. Yeah. Well, dolphins are so smart that it's not that we don't want to – it's not just that we don't want to fucking eat them because we feel bad. It's that we can't catch them. We think they're playful, but they're really assholes. Like, they kill other dolphins for no reason. And, like, they go after humans sometimes. Dolphin games. Shit. They're – no, like, I've – I've read uh, articles about, like, dolphins can be serious bad news sometimes. Anyway, that w- that was a good tangent right there. I think we're, we're, the topic was supposed to be Giants football. How the hell did we get there? Pigskins. Oh, okay, there we go. Dead sheeps. Woo! To ask wow. dolphins. That was a pretty good one. That was a long one. Yeah, I liked it. That was, I'm guessing at least five minutes. No, man. Less than that. Yeah. Anyway. Yeah, so, so Keem Nix isn't there, Victor Cruz isn't there. Don't need him, don't need him. Don't need him? No. Nope. Get Ramsey's Barton back. Oh, that's true. 6'6". Six, six. All you got to do is throw him up, throw the ball up. Doesn't matter, he's taller than everyone else. Of course he's going to take. I'm gonna take that's a, every Giants fan, like every stupid Giants fan. I'm going to take a, off another tangent because okay. I heard you just say 6'6", six, six, and it reminds me of 666. Six, six, the number of the beast. Which is the number of the beast. Iron Maiden. I... Well, it's gonna. it'll change after a while, and I believe... I believe if you order from Dunkin' Donuts a sausage, egg, and cheese on an English muffin with an order of hash browns. It costs 666. And, and a 20 ounce, one of the 20 ounce sodas, it's 666. Twice now. It, two different spots, two different girls. Mm-hmm. Well, have both shown that they're afraid of the number. Like they literally think, yeah, yeah, you're shaking, this is a head shake. Yeah, yeah. exactly. This is. Re- really kind of scary that the mentality of these people are really worried about numbers lining up. So oh, the it's one not girl, just that. The one girl is looks looks down and goes, oh, that's your total. Like, I don't want to say it. She she didn't want to say the number out, like 666. She didn't want to say it. I'm just like... What a fucking moron. I just looked at her. I'm like, what? Like, pretending I didn't know, but I know. I knew. And then a couple weeks after that, and this is a couple weeks ago now, a lady at the another Dunkin' Donuts, I heard the same thing, 666. She gave me a senior citizen discount so that the total wouldn't add up to 666. Oh, six, my six. God. <laughs> I mean, I'm oh all about the discount. God. What is oh. I'm all about the discount, but yeah, <laughs> really? It's, they're like the, my sous chef staying here. Uh, like at the re- All right. She might hear this someday. Maybe. No, no, no. Fuck it. Yeah, I don't care if she hears this because we've had this conversation. Oh, okay. <laughs> I live at the restaurant that I, I'm working at upstairs. It's like a bed and – well, I can't say a bed and breakfast because we don't do breakfast, but it's like a hotel upstairs. It's an inn. Yeah, and there's a lot of fucking going so, on. So, like, myself and my sous chef live here. But apparently, like, there's stories Insane. of this place being, like, haunted. And oh, God. she's, like, straight up scared. Really? Yeah. And I'm just like, seriously, I will sleep. And, like, pay me money. I'll go downstairs and sleep in the basement. How much money would you pay me? You know? Be and like, it's like, I heard the ghost like it when you sleep in my bed with me and play with my genitals. <laughs> I, 
I, I, I worked at the Stanley ghosts. Hotel, which is where Stephen King got the inspiration for The Shining. <laughs> ghosts, oh, my God. Ghosts are afraid of, of topless ladies. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Come in here. It's stand near the air conditioner. They get really scared when, That's right. when the moonshine glistens <laughs> off perked nipples. <laughs> that would be fucking I need hysterical. Your help. Come here. <laughs> oh my god, the ghosts are That's def- a good one. They're deathly afraid of perked oh. topless nipple ladies. I should try that. That'd be funny. Speaking of fucking <laughs> speaking of fucking nipple ladies, did you see the old lady near us near lunch? The old yeah. lady you could see like her shirt that was, was like yeah, wide that was open. hanging down a little bit. Oh, I was, was pretty really, surprised. It was really gross. It, yeah. Oh, that was well, weird. I, I mean, I wasn't exactly looking. I just kind of glimpsed it and I was like, nah, I don't need to see anymore. Oh, yeah, but it's just like you looked over there. She was pretty funny, too. She was. She was yeah. kind of joking around with the waitress. She's like, what would you like to drink? Uh, tequila. The whole bottle. <laughs> <laughs> and she was with like a little kid, too. Oh, yeah. Well, you mean, you can't hang out with little kids long enough. You'll fucking have to, you'll have to drink to survive. Uh, yeah. Well, that's why I always say, you know what my favorite kind of kid is? A dead one. No, that's, that's not <laughs> what I say. <laughs> I can't say that to people. Are you serious? What's my favorite kind of kid? A dead one. Yeah, that leaves a good impression. An aborted fetus. <laughs> no, I say not mine. You ever had? Oh, not mine. You ever yeah, heard of favorite the, kind of kid? You ever heard of the dead baby jokes? Oh no, I've never heard a dead baby joke before. Come kid, on. Pull up some dead baby jokes on your on your phone right now because oh I think God. we need to get into this. Dead this is a really good tangent. Good. I'm glad that. We didn't. We didn't. Write, we, we we just totally abandoned we what didn't, we were talking about. We didn't write down dead baby jokes. We didn't. That's a good. Oh man, this could be topic. the dead baby episode. We we have the swearing, nipple tits, dead babies, and Daryl. Now, someone who's super religious and thinks the devil comes out, they if they listen to this podcast, oh man, all right, they might really think that we're possessed because we started talking about the six six six, and now we're talking about dead babies, and this is all right. A, terrible correlation i feel bad well i have a question for you i typed in dead yeah and i pulled down the Google list suggested yeah so like dead baby down. jokes is on here what number is it five three. Oh, what's above it dead island riptide what's dead that? space th- i have no idea dead space three oh, that's a video game and dead baby jokes is the third oh. one just just from typing in dead into just, google just give me like give me like three dead baby jokes because that's all you need you get, you get it. Well, dude, what do you mean? I'll get it. I, people can. I will. For, I'm who just saying. Who hasn't heard of dead baby jokes before? Old people. Oh, I'm sure they've heard them. Dead baby jokes. Sick like, dead baby jokes. Is opposed to the ones that are clean. <laughs> or edited. not as bad. Yeah. The, the safe for work dead baby <laughs> jokes, not the not safe for work dead baby jokes. <laughs> Give me some dead baby jokes. Uh, okay. What's funnier than a dead baby? Uh. That's right. This is the whole setup to every joke, isn't it? <laughs> well, pretty close. Oh, <laughs> well, not yeah. really, no. So what's funnier than a dead baby? Yeah. Two dead babies? A dead baby in a clown costume. <laughs> 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 it really is. <laughs> All right. Oh, uh, shit. Oh, man. All right, yeah, th- these are bad. Yeah, keep them These coming. are really bad. What's funnier than a dead baby? <laughs> A, a dead baby sitting next to a kid with Down syndrome. Oh. <laughs> wow. That's so bad. I'm so glad there's no actual hell that will burn in someday. This is fantastic. Oh, man, if there is, I'm driving the fucking bus. Oh. Give me another one. Give me one more, and we'll move on. <laughs> no, oh, no, I don't want to say that one. That, not as good as I thought. All right, we well, can pick them. I'm not, there, there's a few. Oh, let's go to the next page. There's like six on this page. Well, I can keep going. Oh, no, there's like 22 pages. 22 pages of dead baby jokes? Yeah. Wow. With about one, with about six per page. Dude, make sure you get your mic facing you. It, it's, it's close. It's pretty close. I've been farther back than that so far. Okay. So one more dead baby joke. Give me a good one. Uh, I'm looking. I hate to lose steam on this dead baby joke bit. I'm 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 trying. I want to find like a really good one. That's what they're I'm saying. They're all good. They're all good, but you gotta find the ones that are great. <laughs> What's blue and thrashes about on the floor? What's blue and thrashes about on the floor? Yeah. Oh God, I don't know. A baby playing in a plastic bag. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a it's like a futuristic dead baby <laughs> joke. It's because it's not dead yet, but it will be shortly. Yeah. <laughs> All right, here's a good one. How many babies does it take to paint a house? How many babies does it take to paint a house? 
Is it something to do with the color red of blood? <laughs> Depends on how hard you throw them. <laughs> <laughs> I've never heard that one before. I heard a lot of these back in like junior high and high school when they started coming out. I wonder who the first, I wonder who the guy who like you know first the, made the first dead baby yeah, joke. Who made the fir- what asshole made the first dead oh, baby joke? Oh, it was joke? a long, 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 long time ago. You want to know of other jokes that are inappropriate humor? Uh, there was a <laughs> my brother was my brother is is, is involved with this one. Uh, it was, it was a news channel line. It was something on Facebook. It was a news channel line, and apparently the governor of New York or the mayor, I don't know, whatever, governor governor of the of New York, right? So statewide wants to okay. wants to uh, bring up legislature that will say the fines are going to go way way up for people if you get caught texting and driving, like 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 from like three to five points on your license and lots and lots of money and all this stuff. And so, so I see it, and I see that my brother commented on it. Oh, boy. <laughs> this goes, can't be good. No, he just goes, he goes, I'm texting while I write this reply. You mad? <laughs> <laughs> and it's during the day. It's like no, he's two driving p- while, he's tex- while he's typing this reply. Well, to be honest, legally speaking, I'm not sure. It said it was posted from mobile. <laughs> but, I mean, you just post from your cell phone. You don't know if they're driving. That's true. If I had to make... An educated guess to say he probably he probably was. <laughs> well, that's that's the whole point though. You you can't say, you can't say I'm texting this while I'm typing. Are you mad? I'm driving this. I'm driving while I'm typing this. Oh yeah, no, mad. that's what he did. That's what yeah. he did. Yeah. So of course it's just all a bunch of old pen up soccer moms. Oh just my god, waiting to pounce. And so there's a couple of people those like are, oh. those, I love pissing those people off. Oh and my so, god. This is like there's like two ladies that were like, oh, you shouldn't say that, or that's not like, oh, that's not smart to do. Say, and this other lady goes on, yeah, wait till you lose one of your loved ones. I can't wait for that day to happen. And then you maybe you'll think twice about doing this sort of thing. I'm like, in a weird way, I think she's wow. wishing for my death. Yeah, a little bit. In a roundabout way of saying it. Yeah. Little Mitch Jarvis over here could be dead, and this lady be like, that's what you have to say. Like you have to pull. Take that shit no, out of people. So you're saying, like, I'm one of his loves them. You were essentially saying that you're hoping I die. Mm-hmm. Do you really mean that? Like, call them out on that shit. Or my mother. Yeah. And so I, like, so, that's a terrible so I, thing. I didn't respond. You, it, you're hoping these people die. <laughs> so I clicked on her. I clicked to see if I could see any of her uh, any of her profile information. Mm-hmm. And, I, and I did. I was going to respond to her, but I didn't want to. There's, there's no need to get into a fucking <laughs> a troll flame war on, Not really, on no. the fucking CNY <laughs> there's there's no need ever so to I, get into a troll so, war. So I looked let at alone it. On that page. In one of in one of her favorite pages was like 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 Jesus is the savior fucking something. So I was gonna be like, oh, that's very Christian of you to say. And just yeah. the freak of the fuck out, <laughs> <laughs> wishing for someone else's death. Asshole. It's, yeah, what a bitch. Oh, and then I'm like, uh, what, and I was and I was when I was driving up here, you know, I'm on 81. It's like three lanes. It was a little later in the day, so it's after rush hour. I was like, nobody on the roads. I'm just wide open. I'm like, I can text right now, and I'd be fucking fine. Yeah. I get it if you're, like, in New York City and there's traffic, it's crazy, and you're on the highway, or you're going down the road where it's just it's just the one lane here and the one lane coming right at you. Yeah. It's on a divided highway. Like, yeah, that shit's really dangerous, and, and I don't – and I agree. You shouldn't do it, but it's just, like, I don't know. It's dumb. Dumb shit. The real dumb part about the texting and driving, though – is that so it started off with cell phones like no talking and driving and that's just like yeah. well okay whatever now it's no texting and driving but the only reason people text one because the technology moved on since the call yeah. but people's like well i can't talk just on my cell phone right, so if i don't have a, if i don't have a bluetooth so i'll just i'll hold my phone down here exactly. because even the idiots who use their speakerphone but they'll like talk up like this yeah. which is still legal like they're, or, they're, or they'll yeah or they'll hold it out like this Oh, yeah. Oh, then no one will notice that I'm t- shouting into my phone like this. Yeah. So people text. But the fucking asshole lawmakers will never go back and say, okay, we texting is so fucking more dangerous than yeah, talking on your we'll phone. Yeah, we'll allow you to talk. We know that we're never going to be able to actually enforce this legit anyways. We're just going to hope we'll catch enough people and make the make the penalties as such. But people are still going to do it. Yeah. The fucking asshole lawmakers will, are, will never, ever, ever go, okay, don't text. We'll let you talk. Exactly. You they can won't talk. do it, we'll and go that back. makes sense. We know it's dangerous. You should need to know it's dangerous. You can talk, but please don't text. No one ever says it. It's just let's add more bullshit laws that are never going to actually solve any issue. Exactly. Because people are like, well, I'm tied to my phone. 
I gotta, I gotta convert somehow. Yep. I'm gonna fucking do it. You just be like, listen, good guy, police officer over here, good guy, lawmaker. And what, what's the difference between me texting and me changing the music on my phone because that, like, I played the music through my well, car stereo I mean, on my phone. So what's the difference there? Oh, oh, sir, I wasn't texting. I was just changing my music. Well, they'll still get you for probably driving. I'm sure there's but some. But it's not illegal. But I'm, no, I'm sure there's some catch-all. I don't know. But it, then it's the same way. It's like eating when you're driving. Like yeah, but exactly. you'll never, it's not you'll, illegal. You'll never, you'll never get eating while you're driving. You know why you'll never get that? Because they don't pull you over for it. No, because, unless you're being reckless driving. And no. then they'll just give you reckless driving. Yeah, but as far as eating food or whatever, and here's the reason. The fucking big corporations, the big food chains, the fast food yeah, industry, the lobbyists, money. they would never, ever let that shit pass. Exactly. They'll never let that shit pass. But we just got serious. Yeah, yeah, that was like 20 minutes. We went from dead baby jokes to fucking some legal issues. To po- yeah, politics and... And we still wow. ha- we still haven't talked about football, Mike. I know. I, I well, I tried and we can go. We got football taking now. Taking me off. We're talking about the Giants. We're talking about yep. Knicks isn't showing up to fucking OTAs. What does OTA stand for? Uh, organized I think I like team off activities. track betting, but that's not a B. It's OTA. What or- is it? Organized team activities. Organized or training activities. They're that- technically they're voluntary. You don't have to be there. Well, then why is everyone fucking bitching about it then? Because here, there's a number of reasons. One, Nick said Nick's told Coughlin that he was going to be there. Two, he's not co- told the team why he's not there. And three, he's in his contract year. Do you think he's dead? Does anyone know where he is? Yeah, his do agent. He, do you think he's writing dead baby jokes and not showing him to practice? That I would be okay with that, as long as they're good. If he, if he thinks he's <laughs> funny enough. i a bad one. Well, just not funny ones. You, you can make unfunny ba- dead baby jokes. Give me an example. Well, I'm, see, I'm too funny for that. Okay, fair enough. Point taken. Um, so what else? What else is going on in the in the football? Is, is it, my man Tim Tebow get signed up by anybody yet? Nope. Damn. I don't think it's going to happen, man. He's, he, it's not his fault because the media think, circus follows him, and it's not his fault, but nobody, no team wants to go through that. Do you think that in five years they'll have a bust in Canton for him? Because I think they should. I'm going to go with no. I don't think they will. Do you think... <laughs> Do you think instead of a bust, he'd be on a plaque and it'd say the big bust? You know, I wouldn't no, be actually, surprised. No, actually, be, no, no, because you, you he, everyone said he's not going to work. Write it on a piece of paper and put it up. Like I, when I went to the baseball hall of fame, somebody did that with Pete Rose. Like wrote Pete Rose on a piece of paper and like drew like a smiley face and like hung it up next to the <laughs> other plaques. Yeah, Pete Rose should be there. It's fucking assholes. I know. Uh oh, today's June second, so like the June first cuts go through. Oh uh, really? Yep. Any updates there? Not yet. Does Eli cut? Yes, I forgot that. Yeah, Is David Wilson cut. No, but they did cut Andre Brown. They cut Andre Brown. No. <sighs> Jesus, they dude. They cut. They cut some. I think his name was Wright. He was a Louisville running back. Loser. Yeah, he was never going to make. Did they cut the team. JPP? Uh, he's, I think he's going to be next. I think. I think that's what happens today. Oh shit. I'm keep. I'm changing. I'm keeping football though. On uh, the NFL Network, they show the classic games. I love the NFL Network. They had, and it's great too because they cut all the bullshit out. The play, play, play. Oh, and yeah, uh, they a replay just, here or there. But yeah, like, play, and you, play, and play. You get through it in like 45 minutes or something. It's awesome. I love that. They were playing when the Giants were on the way to the first Super Bowl win with Eli in 07. 07. the yeah. Dallas game. Oh, oh man! And Roma throw. Oh, they were kicking Roma's ass. They were all over him. They, uh, uh, that, uh, Aaron that. Ross picked him off in the end zone, right? Oh, not Aaron. Game. No, not Aaron Ross. Uh, Corey Webster. Nope. It's like a B name or something. I couldn't remember. His, I couldn't remember the guy at all. I'm like, how did I forget this was guy? Safety or cornerback? I think it was a safety. Safety. All right. Just like Jerry. Not C. C. Oh, Brown. Jerry Bruckheimer or something. No. Jerry. Yeah, it was Jerry Bruckheimer. Jerry Bruckheimer quickly made some edits on CGI and put his face <laughs> in there, and that's what I saw. CC Brown, I don't think he it was, was like on Buck, that Is it like Bucking, Buckingham or? No. It was fucking. It was nuts. But it was that so, was a good game though. If I yeah, it was. That. It was right down to the fourth. Right, Dallas had to score the touchdown. Man, we had him. Got revenge from the regular season. I remember. That was the last year the Tampa Bay was worth the shit. I think. Because Tampa, we played that, Tampa yeah, Bay in the beat, wild card. That was the, our first playoff win in seven years. Woo! Against Tampa Bay, yeah. The last one we won was probably with Dave Brown as quarterback. <laughs> no, it was Kerry Collins, it was, Yeah, Kerry Collins. 
Fucking oh, God. remember the days of Danny Cannell and Mike Cherry? and I don't remember Mike Cherry. He was the third string guy for like seven years. So he's like the best of the worst? I don't know. Like He, he stayed around forever as the third string quarterback. Remember, remember Jason Garrett was our backup for a little bit? Yes, I do he came remember over. that. Motherfucker. He's a smart guy. Harvey grad. It's not that smart. He's a Dallas fucking coach. I would never sign yeah. with Yeah. I've never signed with that shit is, organization. Is, oof, man. You hear they, like, they, people were able to compile the Cowboys draft board together because... What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Compile and what people? Okay, are so people? like a website, like currently this year, this happened, or are they to look, Joe, like the, like they looked this past historic, week? They looked historically over no, the last couple drafts. No, like Jerry Jones did a bunch of TV interviews in the war room, uh-huh. and the fucking board was behind him. So like they caught it from like a couple of different angles and were able to piece their board together. Like <laughs> af- it was after the draft, and it was like just like a website. But it was oh like, my god! And this is the second time it's happened in four years. Wow! Yeah, you haven't learned yet. No, because Jerry Jones is a fucking moron. Well, as well football wise, obviously he's a pretty smart businessman. You don't get that rich without being a smart businessman. No, man. no, that's true. I'm just being ruthless. Yeah. <laughs> I just yeah. As far as football goes, he. <sighs> but what happened? Because he got. Because when he came in, he had Jimmy Johnson and he got Troy. I mean, other than being extremely lucky, I mean, in yeah, he guys, got Hall of Fame p- players and a Hall of Fame coach, and then he got rid of Jimmy Johnson and wanted to be a bigger part of the team because it was his team. And at that point, he probably took a bigger role as GM and he made it more his team because he wanted to, hey, you know, my team with the Super Bowl champions and everything. But ever since it's been his team, they can't do shit. So that's what it was. So Jimmy Johnson and those guys, they had more control on the football type, on the actual playing type of shit, and then, yeah. And Jerry uh, wanted more power. And, oh, so he and, thought he could just like he thought he could just take he wanted the, more take the, the spotlight. Reign. He thought he could take the reins and just leave off where those guys were. Essentially, like they, I mean, they're you know Barry Switzer. There, yeah, and there were the points where you know after that, like you know, some people were like, all right, so when's he really gonna say he's gonna try and be the head coach now? You know, like shit like that. That's never going to happen. But I love how all of our talks, our, fo- our quote-unquote football talks, are just giants and then bashing the Dallas Cowboys. Yeah, it happens every time. <laughs> we so we got to start bashing the Eagles, too. I hate the Eagles and the Jets. Oh, we, no, we bash the Jets quite a bit. I think we might have talked about it on a previous podcast. Or maybe it was maybe it was one that we recorded, but it came out funky. I hope I didn't just jinx ourselves because this is, this is going good right now. Mm-hmm. But uh, they did a high back when it was the draft time. They did a highlight of all the of the picks that the Jets people oh, missed, yeah, missed yeah. out on. They could have oh, they could have had Dan Marino and Warren Sapp. Yep. The, oh the no, they stu- could have had way more than that. Well, and I mean, and then you look in retrospect, like if they got Dan Marino, they probably would have went up. Maybe they weren't in position to get Warren Sapp, but then you look and be like, but they did have the chance to get both, and they still fucked both. Yeah, they fucked it up. And they oh, and some of the people they picked have just been oh, so <laughs> bad. <laughs> They, yeah, they they were they were well known for a long time for just being so incompetent at the draft. All right, we we've talked about football quite enough. Let's go to the NBA. Let's keep the this moving. National Basketball Association. Game six was last night of the Pacers. Pacers the Heat banked the Heat. They beat the shit out of them. Ninety-one seventy-seven. And Hibbert took over that game. Apparently, apparently Miami's big three is not just LeBron. Le- LeBron's yeah. probably LeBron probably is having nightmares right now that he's waking up in a fucking Cleveland Cavaliers uniform. <laughs> he's probably like, "Am I back when I was still the only guy and I'm the only guy?" And probably we looked at the stat. I didn't watch it. We looked at the stats and Bosh did nothing. Nothing. Yeah, he, I he mean, had a bad game. Uh, Wade had at least, I mean, he had 10 points. But it was but like 3 for 11 it was shooting. Awful shooting. Wade, and that's what I heard. Ray, my boy Ray Ray, Ray Oh, on. 2 for 8. 2 for 8. 1 for 4 on threes, I believe. You can't do it. And that's, you know, what they said about the game was, you know, Hibbert, had, he had great stat line. It was like 24, 11. Like, and he had only like one or two blocks, but he he altered like every shot and yeah. just dominated on defense. He was, he was what they call a force, and to, it's to the point now where, like fans, they did a poll. You know who's going to win Game Seven, and the Pacers are leading. That's Last time or so, it was fifty three forty seven with hundred ne- like over a hundred thousand votes. So. You never have thought at the beginning of this series that Pacers would make it out more than four or five games. Well, they they did last year. 
Remember, they, they gave the Heat a real scare last year. So there was talk about, well, you know, apparently they, they're, you know, they have their number. They're built to beat the Heat. Wow. I guess so. I mean, they, they obviously can do it. Yeah, one game. All right, so the question, do you think it'll happen? I just, I you know LeBron's going to show up because he's just a fucking monster. Yeah. He is just a phenom. I, I, I think and he's going to take over. And he, I, he's not going to allow that team to lose. Well, and here's the other thing. There's no way that they can be, you know, it's three games to three right now, right? Yep. Or is it 2-2? Two, two? No, it's 3-3. Three, 3-3. Three. Three, three. There's no way that those guys, Bosch, Wade, and Allen, aren't going to be able to step up and just have a, have a game yeah. and they're going to be able to throw up 20 points and make a huge difference. When it comes to the conference finals, game seven, I don't see how the team with the best player loses. You know, especially when it's LeBron. We're at a point now, he, he is easily the best player in the league, and oh, yeah. he's going to finish as one of the greatest all-time players. When, when that happens, when that player gets to a game seven – you can't lose those games. Yeah, you know. But that's also that's also the part though, that could make or break his legacy. That's true. You know, because you know because the, the Heat lost to the Mavericks in the finals two years ago. Well, yeah. If he wants right? to be that that great player, you know, to live up to his potential, you're right. That's. But it looks. But that's it looks. As, but it looks as though. It looks as though he he'll be able to do it. Oh yeah. Well, this this past like year and a half, two and a half years, something like that has been when it's really started to, you know, show that he yeah, that he's going to really be, like, one of the all, all-time all greats. Yep, yep. So that's the NBA news. Well, not all of it. It's going to transition a little bit because – Oh, that's right. Hibbert – Let's also talk – let's really quickly. Yeah. Let's also think about this. So if the Heat lose, and you brought this up earlier. Oh, yeah. If the yeah. Heat lose, we have it's s- going to be the Pacers versus – the Spurs versus the Spurs, so Indiana so, versus San Antonio, and it, which is it, and it was almost if, pretty shitty. And if you, yeah, that's pretty shitty. But what if San Antonio didn't make it? Then Did they sweep. They swept Memphis. They swept wasn't Memphis. Close, but but it, Memphis was a decent team. But so it would have been could have been Indiana versus Memphis. Yeah, it could be Pacers. Oh, Grizzlies. Who? All right. Who is watching those NBA Finals with any of those? You know. All right. So you have four teams. Probably Without people, the heat, who's watching those finals? Probably the same people who enjoy two girls, one cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. They're just pain. Yeah. Probably, oh, my God. And the, yeah, because those games are all going to be like 80 to 70. Probably. With the, the Spurs and the prob- Pacers. Probably the guy from One Guy, One Jar. Have you seen that one? No. What is that? Oh, One Guy, One Jar. It. Oh, dear God. Oh, my God. What is No, I seriously, I've never heard of it. What is it? So this guy... Li- li- I'm guessing it's a takeoff of two girls, one cup. Well, I I don't seek out the sort of pornography that I watch, but it's a shock factor that I heard of, and I had to watch it. Right, of course. One guy, one jar is this guy. You don't see his face. I can't believe I'm explaining this right now, but it's okay. I might I might edit this part out. Really? Well, I'm just saying. The imagery. We, do, we just did dead baby jokes. Well, dead baby jokes. Everyone knows about this, but not everyone knows about one. Well, hopefully everyone by this time knows about two girls, one cup. Right. Yeah, if not, just, just go ahead and look Two it up. Two Girls, One Cup is a very nice, very... The music in it was great. It's a very artistically done thing yes. where these two young ladies... Well, the best way I can describe it is they, they do vile acts. And someone asked me, because I, you know, again, the shock value, I had to watch it. Someone yeah, you asked got, me, you've got to watch. Are the girls hot? And my answer was, it doesn't matter. <laughs> it doesn't matter. If, if Kay Upton... And I cannot look at that in a sexual view, though. Oh, I know, I know. That's what I'm saying. It doesn't matter. So basically what it is is these, these girls, I don't know what the fuck they ate, but they took massive <sighs> diarrhea shits. No, somebody's paying them money, and they're on the low end. Like, they're they're on their – they don't know what the hell they're going to do now. I, that's, that's, I think they really enjoyed it. They it did not – did you see the looks on their faces? Like, they weren't smiling. Well, they were shitting into a cup, eating it, puking it out, and Pro, no, 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 it not, onto their bodies. They were projectile vomiting. Projectile vomiting. Like puke, sticking your finger shit. down your throat and it comes flying out. It was a beautiful scene set to some very nice music and relaxing. Was there music? Yeah, it starts off. Well, maybe in the very beginning there's music. But anyways, so anyways, Two Girls, One Cup came over. Viral video. Right. Of the of classic not safe for work, just one of the most grotesque things of all time. Yes. And then there was one, one guy, yeah, one, one jar. jar. So this guy took a big mason jar, 
Okay. Like a mace, like, but not like, you know, the, the like a smaller one that you can get? Yeah. It was almost like a pickle mason jar. Huge. Yeah, yeah, I know what you're talking about. Like, gallon size. Lube that shit up with I don't know what and s- proceeded to sit on it. Oh, man. And his, and his behind. Yeah. It, his behind, his really? His behind. Not his asshole? Yep. Yeah, okay, his asshole. His fucking gaping asshole. Okay. It sits on it. Right. It breaks. Crunch. Oh. Blood. Dis- well, of course. Streaming. S- like, you... D- I don't know how this, if this guy, he had to have been alive to be able to then put the, put the video online. Unless right, someone so was filming it. He survived. Well, no, because the, the, the camera was like set on the floor. So he did it like, it was like on the floor. So he's and got to so, drive so himself to the hospital. Yeah. Or then call he's, a taxi. Well, or something. Probably an ambulance, but not a taxi. Oh, well, yeah. Hello, this is Mohammed. Where am I taking you? Oh, I got a glass jar broken my <laughs> asshole. And I got to get to the, I got to get to the hospital. Don't pick me up. <laughs> Okay, I first I bring sheets. <laughs> I stop at gas station, and I take oh, you there. Oh man! Um, so and he's trying to like, and he's like, and he's so you know, he manages. So, all right. So mace, how long does the video take? First of all, I, it's kind of a, it's a hazy memory. Okay. It's probably like a two minute long video. Okay. It starts off, you, you oh, it's just yeah, it's, it's, un, it's, it's yeah. unbelievable. Okay, so one man, one jar. So one man, one jar. <sighs> how did we get on this topic? God, you're gonna make me go back and try to remember. I can't our remember. Tangents. Oh, oh, well, all right. We were we were talking about the NBA, and I wanted to talk about uh, the Hibbert thing. And then oh, you stopped oh, me. On, oh, the sort of people who would like and will enjoy watching. Oh, that's if, right. If it was happened to Ben the Grizzlies versus the Pacers. Okay. Yeah. Luckily, we're gonna get. It's gonna be the Spurs versus the Pacers or Heat. Uh, yeah. Which well, the Spurs the, would be the saving grace. The Spurs against the Heat can be pretty good. With the Pacers, it'll turn into defensive, and just nobody wants to see it. All right, so anyway. 35-38, final score, yeah. Grizzlies, Pacers. No, that's the Big Ten. Oh. They, no, I've seen, seriously, I've seen games in the Big Ten that both teams ended in the 30s. That's nuts. Yeah. That's there was crazy. a game last year, Georgetown versus Tennessee. The final score was, like, I'm pretty sure it was, like, 31-19. Wow. Yeah. Um. All right, so after the game. Uh, Hibbert, oh, one of the I know players for the Pacers, one. yeah, got in trouble. He got in, for, he got so, in trouble. He's going to get fined for Jesus. saying the word motherfucker because he was upset. You know, it was like, why did nobody pay attention to you, you know, for defensive player of the year when, you know, obviously you're so good at defense. And he said, y'all motherfuckers, you know, didn't watch us all <laughs> year. I'm in Indiana. <laughs> yeah, so he was like, I don't care if I get fined. So he's going to get fined for that. But now I, I can't get the whole context of it because we talked about that. Well, could, but all – I, on ESPN, I can assume what, the context because I know yeah. you know when it's when the term, when the phrase is used, you know what it's about. He was playing such phenomenal defense. Someone asked him about his def- defense, specifically on LeBron James, and he he said something. I I, I haven't He's heard probably like he, I haven't read what he said, but he ended it with no homo. So ESPN says, "Oh, Hibbert said this so, gay slur," well, and now today yeah. he comes back and he has and he issues like an apology. And it's like he he's trying to reach out to Jason Collins, the, the NBA player who just came out as being gay. Like, oh, really? So he's got to apologize. To yeah, Jason he like Collins. went on Twitter. To, I'm like, assuming that's he's exa- like, "Can I follow you?" That's and, exactly what Jason Collins wants is to be the fucking. Now he wants to be the spokes. No, Jason Collins doesn't give a fuck. He's probably just like, "Yeah, I'm gay." Yeah. Like, hopefully, other people can come out. Whatever. So now he's got. Well, to guess be, what? When so you now, turn, when you when you come out as being the first active pro athlete, people are going to come. That that's going to be part of your role. You know. So stupid. No homo. Yes. So, so he ended with no homo. And they, so, but now so apparently people, that's a gay slur. But a people who don't that's know. that's news to me. People who don't know, the term no homo is meant to be like, the things that I just mentioned or the things that I'm talking about is. You say, like, I'm, I'm talking to you and I go, I love you, man. No homo. Yeah, it'd be like, not to be taken in a way that I'm homosexual. Yeah. And it can be turned into the fact that, like, because being gay is bad. No, mm. it's not. It's, but it's, it's, it's more, it, it's you're more just of a clarifying. joke. But it's more of a, it's more of a, I mean, it's, it's, yeah, kind of and it can be. Of a, it's a comedic joke. Yeah. It's like saying, all right, like a lot of times when somebody says something that can be taken more than one ways, I'll just look at them and go phrasing, you know, cause you, it's how you phrase something that so makes it turn, turn, for turn out no wrong. Homo. So yeah. So saying no homo to me is like me saying phrasing. It's the exact same context, you know? Well, yeah. But like, and then, so there's a big difference between being like a bigot or being a racist or whatever. When yeah. You, you can joke around or say a thing. It's meant to be more comedic. It's not like, 
those fucking homos have got to die or fuck them and they can't. Yeah, like, it's just like. So how is that because, a good slur? Like because that... in what the, in, in where people take it, the censorship too far is they take it from no homo being like, oh, I'm joking around, oh, whatever. Like, he's probably, he probably, and I don't know, yeah. I'd imagine it had to something to be like, oh, I was all over his ass, like defending him. So I, all no over homo. his ass, no homo. Yeah. Like, I'm assuming. And I don't know. That's probably what it was. And that, like, and that would I make would sense. Even think of that as being a big deal at all. Yeah, I'm all over his ass. No homo. Like, yeah. But the the, the phrase "no homo" has gotten. To, it's it's become more. A it's the phrase itself is is now bigger than the actual what it was meant for in the first place. Right. right. When it started off, we like. Yeah, it's true. It was always in a joking manner. Yeah, and you know, so when people, so when people, yeah, you want to be careful. You don't you don't want to offend. People, you don't want it, be, people to take things a certain way, but at the end of the day, when it comes down to, especially when you talk about like the gay things, like say no home or, or or like if if you like you're with your friends, you're with your buddy, you like call them, oh, I'll shut up, you faggot. Like, yeah, it's not meant to be like I think gay people are awful and they're you know they should not be allowed to enjoy themselves and they're they're uh, unnatural. It's just the simple fact that you you portray that onto someone, if, especially if you know that they're not gay yeah not by the fact that you think homosexuals are wrong for the simple fact that to heterosexual men taking a dick or sucking a dick is not a pleasurable it's ex- thing yeah it's extremely that's unpleasant. all it is it's yeah. not anti it's just yeah and eh, not enjoyable yeah exactly eh, not enjoyable <laughs> it's not something i seek out to, you know it's not something i would pleasure myself doing yeah and all right so talk about the what you uh having you earlier this week with uh what your your to meet earlier this week special olympics oh so i did the i did the color run and i know we talked about it in one of the past in one of the one of the past well, yeah, episodes one of, one of our the past podcasts podcast did the color run uh where people would run and there was volunteers and we throw like the colored cornstarch and you know a lot the money that we raised money, for the, raise special money olympics. for the special olympics and so i was actually at a i was at a graduation party yesterday and um one of the, so I'm talking. People are asking me, "Oh, that, that shirt's cool. What is you know? What does it mean?" Telling about it, <clears throat> raise money for Special Olympics. And one of the girls, um, and it's it's funny too because she happened she happens to be a lesbian. Okay. So you'd think that she was she would understand that the term Special Olympics is the euphemism is the politically correct way instead yeah. of saying retarded or any other way to say it. She's like differently seems- abled. Yeah, so she's like, it seems kind of weird that they call it like a Special Olympics. I'm like, what are they going to call it? The Gimpy Olympics? Yeah, like... Like, that's why they don't call it the Retard Olympics. They call it Special Olympics, and the people who run it deem it that. And that's... That's, that's the good thing to say now. Right. Well, and it's now, always been sudden, that way. When, you, when you're talking to a retarded person, you, you got to tell them. It's like, no, you, you're just special. Yeah. That, that's the, the term you use. Yeah. But it's the term that's been coined and anointed as the okay, t- politically right, correct terminology. Exactly. And so now all of a sudden it's just like, well, I don't know. This is, that's I don't know so, if you want to call Oh, my God. And then, you know, so I said, I I'm like, that shit. no, but like, and then she, I think she quickly realized, like, everyone started everyone no, was I like just, laughing. There I was mean, like politically correct in general. Oh, I know. But there's, to an extent, there's some, you know, as you get older and you understand, like, okay, I get it, I get it. You know, yes, there's some of it that goes overboard like this, and then I think she really quickly realized that okay, you're right, you're right. Like, yeah. I think people get so used to being so overly protective about that shit, it gets it gets too much. Yeah. At the same time, though, there's things, things you don't want to say, but I think she realized it. But it was just it was funny. Like, well, what the hell do you want to call it? The turd burglar run? Like, what the fuck? <laughs> turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. That's my name. Turd. My my name. Turd Ferguson. Turd Ferguson. No, like, no, we, could, we could have Turd Ferguson in as a guest someday. Oh, that would be good. That'd be great. With Sean Connery. Sean. Well, what, anything else we got on the list here? Um, no, that was pretty much it. We, no homo was the last thing. No homo. Sometimes you just got to go some homo. <laughs> some homo. S- some homo was <laughs> was uh, coined by Ron and, the Ron and Fez show on Sirius XM Radio, which is probably my favorite show. And yeah, so somehow instead of no homo, because that's the thing, someone it was it was probably a month or two ago, someone used the term no homo. They're like, oh, we'll we'll start some homo. So it's kind of like we're not. It's not that we're gay, but we're kind of all right with it. <laughs> yeah, hey, some guys, homo. Some homo. Yeah, man, I'd really like to <laughs> like to slap your ass, dude. <laughs> some homo. Oh, I did, you you've never seen um some homo. Oh shit, what the hell is it called? Uh, orgasmo. Have you ever seen that movie? A long time. Oh uh, yeah, it's like the the one dude. He's like, <laughs> he, everything he says, 
he starts out with like, I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Every single thing. So, like, a couple of them, he goes, you know, I don't want to sound like a queer or nothing. Some but your ass looks really nice, sir. <laughs> but I think unicorns are kick ass. <laughs> so the last one, he goes, I just want to sound like a queer or nothing. But I'd really like to make love to you tonight. <laughs> Do you know? Do you know when I think of the t- if if you put a, if I put a face towards the term some homo, I think of t- Tobias Funke. <laughs> no, that is, no, he is all homo. Yeah, okay. <laughs> <Little> homo. <laughs> Dude, you got just he. You haven't seen enough of him to get I, the you full. Know, I, I get it's it. so amazing. I really gotta watch. I mean, I'll probably I'll probably watch some of those tonight when I get back after the hour Even drive. Even in the new ones, they they like kind of look at it and they're like, yeah, it's kind of like a running joke in the family that everybody kind of thinks you're gay. He's like. What? <laughs> what? Oh, I've never seen that before. He goes, when have I ever done anything gay? And he goes, 11 seconds early. He does this like little twirl thing. It's so <laughs> fantasy. <laughs> <laughs> He's not gay. He's an actor. Yeah. <laughs> He's a, an actor, for God's sake. Oh, that's great. We're like the Lutz. All right. Sorry. <laughs> I saw a reference. Oh, I was reading an article. And somebody said, J. Walter Weatherman. Who's that? You haven't met him yet. J. Walter Weatherman. Walter? Appa- all right, so what, George Senior. This movie? is from Arrested Development. Oh, from Arrested Development. George okay. Senior uh, <laughs> likes to teach his children lessons when they were younger. So, like... This is a new so, thing with the new season? No, no, no. This is, this is just, all old, old stuff. Okay, yeah, this okay. will happen. <laughs> so, he likes to teach them lessons. So, like, to always leave a note and stuff. Yeah. So, he'll scare the shit out of them. And he'll use Jay Walter Weatherman every time because Jay Walter Weatherman has a fake arm, so he'll always he'll do something where he'll run into this guy and he'll lose his arm because the kids didn't do something right. And then Jay Walter Weatherman walks over and he's like, "And that's why you always refrigerate your milk." You know, it's just like shit like that. So wait a second, is Jay Walter Weatherman a real guy or is it? He's a character in the show. He's a char- oh, So he actually is a character in the show. Yeah, his no, his name in the show is yeah. Jay Walter Weatherman. Yeah, yeah, okay, I got gotcha. you. So, so yeah, so somebody made a reference said. You know, something about J. Walter Weatherman. I was like, wait a minute, I know that name. Oh, that's right, the, the one-armed man who teaches lessons. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh, sorry. Yeah, that was, that was a tangent there. I love that show. I plowed through, like, a lot of people are just kind of taking their time in the new episodes. All, I watched all, all 15 one. as as soon as I could. Like, was I was... Two days, three days? Oh, it was like two days, and one of the days I had to work. Like, it was crazy. Oh. <laughs> I woke up, watched a couple episodes, went to work for a little while, took a break, was doing prep, watched an episode. Nice. Came upstairs, watched a couple more. So, yeah. Wait, so so when do you have to work next? Uh, well, we're only open like three days, so. Thursday, Friday, Saturday? Right now, yeah. Uh, I got to put it, I got to like do inventory and figure out what I have to order on Tuesday for Wednesday. So I, I have to put the order in by like, oh, I'm sorry, no, Wednesday, Friday. Yeah, I put the order in by 4 o'clock on Tuesday, and it gets delivered Wednesday morning. Gotcha. I, I even told the guy, I was like, listen, man, you got to get here sometime between like 8 and 10 in the morning. I tried to get him here later, and he can't. Oh, you don't so, want to have to get up that early? Yeah, so I was like, dude, listen, man. <laughs> it's 8, eight dude, to 10 in the morning. I live, I, I live right upstairs. Here's my number. When you get start getting close, just give me a call, and I'll wake up, come downstairs, and take care of it. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, dude, but you're right there. I could drop it off really early, dude. I could get here at 6.30 in the morning. No, the problem is that he, like, he's got routes. He's probably on the road at like 4 a.m. So he's like he's doing Syracuse stuff, and he comes out here. I was is it, like, is, it, they, big, they is got, it one of the big companies? Oh, yeah, it's Cisco. Oh, Cisco, yeah. They yeah, do all they're shit. massive. Yep. So it was like, yeah, he's like, well, he's... It's like the only way his route like will work is he's got to stop here early in the morning and then you know drive back. So what time was he getting? So he can't get there between eight and ten. He no, he does. Earlier? That's what, no, he gets here. I no, I'd want him. I wanted him here like mid afternoon. Oh, <laughs> so he had like he, I think last time we got here at like quarter to nine, nine o'clock, something like that. Gotcha. That's yeah. not bad. Yeah, not too bad. It's not bad for not having to work during the week yet. Yeah, that's true. That is pretty nice. <laughs> Fucking asshole. It's such a shock to my system though because like when i work yeah. it's oh like i cannot remember the last job that i had that i didn't work 60 hours yeah 55 to 60 hours that that's the it's norm either, if not more. it's either working 60 hours or unemployment or no hours yeah and now it's working like what 30 hours <sighs> uh five we're open from five to nine i usually get in 
there's not much prep because we haven't been busy yet because we just opened. Oh, it only opens up at 5 in the afternoon? Yeah, we're open 5 to 9. Jesus. Yeah, I know. When it goes full t- when you go full 4 days a week. 5 f- to 9. 5 days a week. It'll still be that. Yep. Oh, I figured you guys are open for lunch and shit. Nope. They were last year, and they were like, nah. This must be like a front for the mafia or oh something. Oh, my God. This is... The, this is <laughs> I I always dreamed that there were jobs like this existed, but I, I never really believed Don't it. Don't fuck this one up, Mike. I'm just, oh, man, I'm trying not to. <laughs> I'm doing my maybe, best. I'm, maybe you can start by making sure the food gets here on time and not <laughs> by 10 o'clock. <laughs> just, <laughs> just be happy that it comes at eight, by 8 o'clock and not 5.30 in the morning. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> 5.30 in the morning might be better for me because I might actually be up by You'll that still point. still be up. Yeah, I, I'd rather, if I knew the order was going to be there between like 4 and 6 in the morning, stay I'd, I'd stay up. I would. That's all. Because I usually crazy. stay up till like 3 or 4 in the morning anyway. Yeah, that's true. My Like, if I go to bed before 2, that's kind of early for me. Yeah. It's weird. I think what we need to do, well, it's going to be tough because I don't know how often I'll be able to come up here when you when you come back down to do more of these podcasts. Yeah. But I'm thinking we could, I'm thinking with to, we might have to purchase... I was thinking, why can't yeah? Why can't we do it over the phone? Oh, fuck, I I've know how heard podcasts. I know podcasts that go. Over oh, the they phone. sound like dog shit. They do. Maybe like if you, we can find a really good. I mean, we have a very professional setup over here. Oh, absolutely! Two Rockman microphones and it's, a laptop. I was actually, you know, because I go and I, you know, I'll, I'll go find other podcasts. I'll just like search randomly. Mm-hmm. It's like when I was thinking of names, I was thinking, should we do it and like base it off like Syracuse names? Yeah. And so I was like listening to some. It's not a lot. I don't call it like Cuse Cast or something. Yeah. It's something fucking really cheesy. Oh, God. Not to mention Mike yeah, on the mic that, isn't well, cheesy. But it's Cuse better cast. than Cuse Cast. Yeah, that that makes ever... us sound like we're doing something for Syracuse Sports. Yeah. But we're not. No, we're not. But, I, but yeah, so another fun thing that we could do, but it's going to be tough because it's not going to be able to do this as much anymore, at least during the at least during this time of the year. Mm-hmm. But we could get a – we could get a – a graphics uh, graphics card or whatever, and we could tape. We could do the similar thing. We tape you playing fucking PS3. Tape you playing fucking uh, what's that one game? Game of Thrones. Game of Thrones. What? What's the game with the old people? What the hell are you talking about? With the, with the ghosts and shit. With the God, of, God of War. Oh, God of War. Oh, God of War. Game I of Thrones. I had no idea Same. what the fuck you were talking about. Get, get, get a capture. Holy shit. Get a capture card. And we could tape playing the like well, could play through the game tape and we just talk talk nonsense during the game. Oh, I see what you're saying. And then give a, give the show some sort of a visual element as well. So you're saying almost not like just a, not almost, just a, it's a almost a like somebody do, recording like commentating. Yeah. Oh, I was yeah I was gonna say like COD, like somebody doing cop. Oh yeah, people do that shit all the time too. Yeah. Yeah. Just so something to something to watch while they listen. Okay. Which is brilliant that is the Mitch and Mike on Actually, the Mike podcast. That's something we should do. It's like we yeah, we or at least play that's like a game of Madden or something. Play game of Madden or ISS. Even even I oh there's ISS. There's nothing that'll Holy shit. There's nothing that there's nothing that'll set the uh, YouTube viral marketing wild like a fucking a non branded <laughs> soccer game from fucking a decade oh, and yeah. a half ago. That nobody's <laughs> ever heard of. <laughs> Yeah, seriously, how did like we find that game and just it's, become so obsessed it was just with it? N sixty four, and it was like, oh, it was like you either did the FIFA games or other games, and in the back of the day, I'm like, dude, I I'll go with a Nintendo product over just the standard. And I don't think the sure. FIFA games were that good back in the day either. Not back then. They I were. probably read a Nintendo Power back in the day, and be like, yo, this shit got like a oh, seven point five out of ten. Power, I love that game, that magazine. Seven point five out of ten for a, for a random fucking soccer game is pretty solid. And that's also back in the day when we should look that up. What was the rating for? What was ISS? the rating for ISS? Yeah. Let me, let me do that while, while we're talking. I want. The, I got to know. Yeah, pull that shit up. I, I, I used to go back and <laughs> find out the ratings. Jokes. <laughs> and it's also like it's like that was also back when I was young enough where I could always I was always, I'd always find a way to make things fun in my head. Not that the game isn't really fun to play anyways, but like and now it's also kind of nostalgia factor when you play. But like I was like that same same thing in the in. When I was younger, too, with movies. Like, I remember there was one movie, and I'm trying to think who was in it. Mm-hmm. When I, when I, when I kind of realized, be like, this movie's shitty. <laughs> like, there was a, I can't even remember anymore who the hell was in it. 
That's I something else we can do is we can we can do our little own like lo- we can do else. our own little like almost riff tracks while we're doing a podcast. Just put a movie on and just sit there and make fun of it as no, we talk know. about conversations. I don't, I don't know. I don't know the intricacies of of the copyrights and shit with that. No you idea. can't sit in front of a movie and make fun of it. People have been doing that forever. I don't know. They the were legal, just smart enough to put it on camera first. I don't know the legal ramifications if we have to pay people or, or get or I don't know how. No, you just don't works. call it riff tracks or whatever, the, or or mystery science theater. No, but like people get in trouble for posting shit on like YouTube and like, oh, you posted a song or you can't post movies, so now we just get a movie and we talk over. It's you still use the imagery and everything else, you know? Yeah. Oh yeah, like that's true. Like, that's why I don't have any. We don't have any fucking music or intros that's playing. That's true. With, yeah, because I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna play like. You're right. I'm not gonna play like some like a some part of a song and then get ripped down because of it. All right, international superstar soccer review. Yeah. Review score. All right. What site is this from? Google. Well, you're searching Google, but it you know you get different. Well, do the Wikipedia because the Wikipedia will give the. I went to International Superstar Soccer. There, it's multiple like games. It's a whole series. It started on the Super NES in 1994. Oh shit! I didn't. Know. Yeah, I was just on Wikipedia. That's why I'm doing another search for a score review. Well, because if you do the if you do the 64 one, you go to Wikipedia. Here we go. You, I'll just go to like four or five different reviews from the thing. IGN. Yeah. 9.0. Holy hell! That. It is a. I mean, that's the that's the game. That's the N sixty four game. You see the I, box. I can see it clearly. Nine point oh. So it's not just us. Wow. That is a fantastic game. Fucking a. Ninety eight. I guess was came out ninety eight. I think. Yeah, that's about Let right. Let me see. Oh no, no, that's something else. That whoa, that was weird. International. International. Oh, here we go. International Superstar Soccer sixty four. Yeah. Was released ninety seven. Ninety seven. Okay. That same year as Goldeneye. Man, that was a good year. A good year for video games. Really? How how did we spend time on both games? I don't know. Cuz like GoldenEye I would say is probably if well, not the Golden best Knight video game ever. Golden... It's it's up there. Well, now I mean there's different stuff, but I mean historically right. it's historically very important. first first good multiplayer game. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's other multiplayer games. I don't know. We but that was the first one that like did the four boxes, and I think that changed a lot. Oh yeah, for sure. I have to. We have, I have to take time to think about that. But it definitely set the stage for all of the 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 first person shooters since then. True. Of actually f- full 3D and really actually good. Um. But anyways, I got an eyelash in my. Eye, and there's only one thing that I know about eyelashes in my. <laughs> I thought you were winking at me. It means that the podcast it's getting a little is, creeped out. The podcast has got to be over because I got to take care of this. Oh, with your contacts and everything. And this is the longest power hour we've. Our, our, this is the longest <laughs> podcast we've done no. with me only drinking one beer. Oh, okay. I, I was going to well, say. i got to drive. I can't just pass out oh, at night. That's true. So. All, All right, right. Kids. How long has it been? How long has it been? Yeah. How long is this podcast? I, re- I really fucking hope that there's no fuck up, fucked up delay. It's uh, been an hour, hour, almost and, even. Uh, hour, hour and three minutes. minutes. All right. Not too bad. All right, folks. I really hope that you would listen to all this podcast. I doubt it. So what I might I might cut it up <laughs> in the sections. Yeah, I, might, I was thinking about that. It's like we can't. I might delete. We one have to man, do like five cut. sections where I we gotta keep our tangents. We gotta do like our own little tangents so people listen to the tangents and then they'll listen to the whole oh, yeah. thing. You know. Or what I can do is I can put it in one, and then I can copy. You can you can like copy from a certain time in the YouTube clip. And then paste oh. the time. It'll bring them to a section. That's pretty cool. So you can do that. And so all right. Bring them in. I like that. Or I'll or I'll just chop them up since it also just takes so fucking long. Yeah. To sit because what else? Too bad we're happened. not making money and we could just hire somebody to do that for us. If anyone wants to have an internship. Yeah. Let's Unpaid hire, internship. Let's, an, let's get an intern for the Mitch and Mike like, of the Mike podcast. Like the 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 uh, it's always sunny in Philadelphia episode. They're like, wait a minute. You're saying we can have slaves? They like because they get like the workers' comp people, and they're like, we don't have to pay them money. <laughs> we have slaves. Like, give us slaves now. <laughs> All right, maybe we won't have slaves, but we'll, we'll <laughs> definitely gonna maybe we'll put in let's put an end on Craigslist for an intern for the Mitch and Mike unpaid and the Mike internship podcast. at the Mitch and Mike and Mike podcast. Ours, whenever the hell we say. Like, <laughs> it's got to be a girl. That's right. Yeah, she can be on the podcast, but Big then she's got to do the work and 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 put it online and ready chop for, it up and do all ready that. For, you ready for a great callback, as they call it in the business? Ready. We're gonna we're gonna hire a hot chick intern, mm-hmm. but 
the prerequisite is she has to think ghosts are real. 